And you are now rockin' with the best Educated melanin, she beautiful and blessed Really one of them, but she ain't nothing like the rest I'm talking queen vibes, wifey energy ain't nothing less Why you so good to me, baby, that's the question You look so good to me, you never got a question They love it how we do it, how we pull up, we be flexing They ain't gotta like it, but oh yes, they don't respect it She know she got it, if I got it, we ain't stressing I know you here forever, sorry to the next chick This one for the fine women, show me how you stepping Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me and Dior. If you want to get in tune with this makeup look right here, I just filmed it. The video will be on my channel real soon. I recently posted the number, which is 917-535-0426. Oh, I got a few people asking for relationship advice and I'm getting back to you guys. I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to put all of them up here. I just want to say, um, I'm not a mean person. <laughs> Most of the answers that you guys need is already in the text. Whatever I say is just my advice. You do not have to take it. You do not have to take it. Like, do not take it if you feel like I'm ODing or, you know. So, I'm going to start off with this one. It says, hi, I just moved in with my boyfriend and I feel like I get no respect in this apartment. Should I move out? So, if you're writing, should I move out? Deep down, you already know you should move out. You already answered your question. Yeah, you should move out. <laughs> Get up out of there. <laughs> but if he's not giving you no respect, what are you giving him? Like, you can either talk it out, be a grown-up, talk it out. I feel like people in our generation, it's kind of hard for you guys to communicate, and it's really hard for the men to comprehend. I don't blame you for writing, should I move out? You don't have to rush in and just move out, but if you truly feel like you're getting no respect at all, like no respect at all, what are you doing there? And if y'all gonna have, what are you doing there? <laughs> we on to the next one. This one says, we've been dating for three years and we always get each other gifts for our birthdays. But last year I lost my job and still looking for a job. But as soon as I lost my job, the gift stopped. Um, situations like that if he stopped giving gifts I'm sorry cuz like y'all been together for three years I'm so sorry I know I'm supposed to be giving advice I really don't know what to say about this probably you're gonna have to call in or something because three years is crazy like y'all been together for mad long and the gifts is not supposed to stop I'm not telling you to leave I would tell you to leave but y'all been together for three years I'm sorry I'm sorry for all the people that texted me give me a call out of this video okay just give me a call and I'm gonna pick up because these need to be communicated more <laughs> i can give you more advice but like these little short texts is not really working for me because i'm just being so judgmental and i don't want nobody to feel no type of way so just call me this third one says i've been in a relationship for two years and he never posted me on instagram should i care another one should i care like you're you're answering your own like you're you're already giving yourself like advice already should I care? If you're adding anything on to like a question or a statement, like it's you talking, if that makes sense. This is crazy because like I'm supposed to be giving y'all advice, but to be honest, um, my relationship started before social media. Not really before social media, but like we wasn't really, we didn't care about social media. So like I didn't care if he posted me or not, but a little post can go a long way it's not like you're hiding yourself in a relationship or like you're hiding the relationship so you should care <laughs> like i don't want to say you shouldn't care because there's men out here that would have a whole girlfriend and like they're single on instagram or online and today's day and age you probably should care because um if somebody has so much love for you and just can't get over you and just look at you and be like oh my god they're so beautiful or they're so handsome you should be on their page you should be on their page so you should care i don't want to say that you should because who cares about all of this like at the end of the day this is what's real you know reality is real social media is not really real but you should care <laughs> How do you know if your man is God sent or not? If you, let me give you a good example right here. If you have a man, right, and he is violating you left to right, why would God send somebody to violate you? You know, like I don't ever want to be mean to nobody, but like half of these stuff is really much common sense. Like God would not send a man to you that's going to violate you or break your heart. Like, little simple things that go on in the beginning of a relationship you can tell if God sent him or 
if this is just another lesson, call me. <laughs> Give me a call. <laughs> On to the next. Hey, me and my girl, ooh, a man. Me and my girl been engaged for two years and known each other for five years, five, six, seven, seven years. I told her I'm against the vaccine. Ooh, I'm anti-vax too. All right. I told her I'm against the vaccine and don't feel like she should take it. And she went behind my back and took it anyway, even though I showed her all the side effects and long-term defects. When it comes to like her job and everything, like she probably have a job and she probably really needed to take that shot. I see how you said she went behind my back. Y'all not married. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> y'all engaged i'm sorry to be honest she was supposed to come and talk to you but at the end of the day married or not it's her body she could do whatever she want with it so this is a tough one i'm sure you showed her all the side effects and the long-term effects but like if she don't care like you can't force somebody to care about themselves like if she don't care then you're just gonna have to force yourself to care less i feel like this one gives off um a counselor and I can't really answer this one this one says what does a healthy relationship look like um yeah relationships are healthy but like they have their ups and downs you don't know what people tolerance level is some people tolerate disrespect some people tolerate you know some people tolerate certain things that they're not supposed to so like you would never know what a healthy relationship looks like because when it comes to social media they will show the good side but you never know what they're going through when the doors are closed everybody's relationship has like a problem like not, not everybody's perfect as long as everybody communicates and everybody comprehends what the other person wants and needs you know this one says how do i know if a man is using me for money i feel like a man is using you for money if he's always asking you for something and you barely asking for anything and he's always asking you for something if you're asking me this you should know like it should be a reason why you know that's why we don't need advice it should be a reason why you asking me this you know something that i don't so call me okay i'm a very independent being and don't really like asking my man for anything but he never even offers me anything i know you don't like it depends on how long y'all been talking if this is a new relationship dub it get up out of there and if y'all been together for a very long time like you're gonna have to get out your comfort zone and talk to him and be like um excuse me i'm independent and i like doing stuff on my own but like you can help me out a little bit <laughs> you can back up out my face a little bit <laughs> I be on TikTok too much. Even though we all hate to say something because if we say something, it's like we're begging. But um, yeah, you're gonna have to get up out your comfort zone and you're gonna have to say what you gotta say. This one says, hey, if we both working and I'm making more money than him, should I stay? We only been talking for two months. Um, I think you should leave because it looks like you're gonna be working more than him. It all depends on the type of person that he is. If he's the type of person that does not feel right with you making more money so it's gonna motivate him to go and get more money then stay but if it's the type of person that's going to eat well for you and see that you're making mad bread so they like oh yeah I don't gotta do much you gotta leave like you gotta protect yourself and leave now if anything we want more we don't want less this one says oh my god this one is about to get me tight because signs like signs does not really especially Google this one says, hi, I'm an Aquarius and he is a Taurus. When I Google if we are compatible, it says we not. Should I believe it or continue to feel what is real? <laughs> this is mad funny because if you have an either or, like, or should I, that's your two choices. Like, that's inner you, ego, and so, you know, that's, that's inner you and, like, <sighs> like, if it feels real, if everything feels right, why are you listening to Google? Why are you listening to Google? Google is not going to help your relationship. Obviously, you have to feel what's real. Damn, this just triggered me. It's like, because I just get so, like, upset when, like, people act a little bit dumb. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be nice. I really am. Google, don't go to Google for relationship advice. Please don't go to Google for relationship advice. <laughs> is it safe to go into a relationship with an unhealed partner? Absolutely not. If you are working on your healing journey and this I'm not gonna say nigga. And this guy is just sitting around thinking that nothing's wrong with him and like he has so much problems but like he doesn't see it because he feels like 
he don't see the trauma you know he don't he's not aware of what's going on and what has happened for him to be the way he is it's just gonna be a very hard relationship a very hard relationship if you're asking me this you know it's not right come on like come on you know it's not right everybody should get into a relationship healed or on their healing process because when I tell you the whole world needs healing the whole world needs healing make sure your partner is on his healing journey before or even make sure he's like aware of his traumas and going to do something about it before you even get into a relationship because it's not gonna work it's not gonna work how do I convince my man to show more affection Oh um, man, there's so much men out here that's not affectionate and I blame their parents because you know, depending on like how you grew up, parents didn't grow up with affection neither. So it's probably mad hard for them to show love to their kids. So now their kids don't know how to show love. You can say something a few times, but don't force no man to do nothing. Like there's mad fish in the she fishing and she <laughs> say a few things probably once or twice but if it's no change like you gotta threaten him and be like yeah i'm up out of here because obviously that's mean i'm sorry that's like it's just me like it's kind of hard for me to give advice because like i just don't put up with nothing like i don't put up with nothing you doing this wrong i'm up out of here like you doing this wrong i'm up out of here like i just can't waste my time on this earth like i'm here to do better things and to be around good people like and if you're not showing me that you can't be around me and you can't like you can't just be around me i'm sorry like y'all gotta look at yourself like a prize you gotta look at yourself like a trophy like if you really want me you're going to do this to get me like he would probably like if he really 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 want you he would show it you know it's not that hard all right oh this one is spicy hey girl if i'm from senegal and he american how do i convince my mom that i love him even though i know they just won't approve you don't if you love him and it's real and deep down in your heart you know he's God sent you don't need nobody's approval you can let her know like this is such and such and we are good together and if they're not with it you gotta do what you gotta do like they'll come around I truly feel like they'll come around but like if he's a if he's a bad guy like and he's wildin and like your mother's trying to save you like she's trying to save you and let you know like this guy is not for you but if like you know it all depends that's why like i really should have did a calling video for this <laughs> like it all depends the type of person that he is but if you know that you love him and like he's a good person like you could see yourself with a future with him you don't need nobody's approval um this is the last one when i'm talking to him damn no hi <laughs> when i'm talking to him or telling him about my day he's always in his phone does he have feelings for me still or just finds his socials more important um you can speak up you can be like um excuse me i'm talking to you and if there's no change get up out of there like why y'all just why y'all just be around these people that don't really like y'all to be honest like i really don't like when i'm talking to somebody and they're all up in their phone because it's like you're not paying me no attention you don't care about me you do not like me and that's just how i feel so i feel like you should feel the same way because social media will always be there you won't <laughs> if you're like me like you got to get about it there you know but um this really should have been a calling video because it's kind of hard to just go off of those simple little texts. But like I said before, the only advice you should take from people is the little one in your heart because a lot of you guys already answered y'all questions through the text. You got to understand, that's why people write their thoughts down. When you write your thoughts down and like you're just writing, you're basically spilling the beans. And once you're spilling the beans and you're breaking it down, like... It comes back to you and then you realize oh this is this and this is that so um to the person that says should i leave because <laughs> he's not giving her no respect in the house you already said it like you already gave yourself that ultimatum like should i leave yes you should leave yes but um that's enough with my relationship advice i really hope you guys enjoyed this video do not take my advice <laughs> Take what I said into consideration. I hope there's a difference there. The number is 917-535-0426 and there will be another topic shortly. So I will be letting you guys know when the next live video will be for you guys to call in. And um, there will be another topic, but for now I'm gonna make sure that I set a schedule to the point where 
every Friday or every Saturday at a certain time. You guys know when to call in. So, like, I don't have to be live. I could just be like this. So, like, you guys are calling in. Yeah. So, once I set that up, I'm going to let you guys know. Make sure you guys comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And just let me know how y'all feel about my advice. Even though, like, you know, I said what I said. But <laughs> just let me know how y'all feel. And, yeah. Bye, guys.